The bees are another member of Hymenoptera, like the ants and the wasps. They are immensely important as pollinators in the ecosystem. And while you may have been stung as a child by a bee, not all the bees have stingers. And as you can see, some are just gorgeous. Bees evolved from sphesid wasps, as evidenced by the lobe that wraps around the thorax. All other wasp families don't have it. Bees tend to have really hairy bodies, large flattened first tarsal segments, and unshaven legs. Many, but not all bees, have stingers. While some experts place all 650 known species of Costa Rican bees into just one family, here they are placed into five traditional families. Whether in one family or more, groups of bees are distinguished by characters of their wings and their tongues. Say ah, say ah. Well, let's stick with the wing bay nation. One member of the plaster of bees, Crawfordapus, inhabits the highlands of Central America. This ground-nesting solitary bee form aggregations in areas of disturbed soil. Females dig tunnels over a yard deep to make nesting chambers. She secretes a shiny cellophane substance that waterproofs the nest, thus the name plaster. Nest densities can reach 20 a yard. These bees feed on pollen from tomato, melastome, and begonia family shrubs and trees. Plaster bees have three submarginal cells, an S-shaped vein here, and the lobe of the hind wing is longer than this cell. Small and numerous helictid bees are often metallic green and blue. They visit flowers for pollen and nectar and make nests in the ground or in rotting wood. Many species are completely solitary, while others are somewhat social, and others form small colonies of several individuals. Now a queen in a colony of three isn't exactly Victorian. Pollen is taken from the flower's anthers with its jaws and first leg, and then it's passed on to the middle legs and on to the hairs of the hind leg. Back at the ranch, the pollen is scraped into a cell for later use. Helictid bees are also called sweat bees, referring to their love of human sweat. And they'll often drive you nuts trying to get a good lick of ambrosia. Just stay calm and don't sweat. Not all insects fit the normal gestalt like this helictid bee so you always have to examine the key characters. In this case, look at the hind wing to see if this lobe is longer than this cell. Also check if it has a relatively short tongue. The three submarginal cells and the clincher is the curved vein. Simple, right? Leaf cutting bees get their name from lining their underground nest with leaves. If leaves aren't the fashion, resin or mud are options too. The coolest thing about these bees is they carry pollen loaded on their belly. At a quick glimpse, they look like honeybees, but they have two equal submarginal cells on the forewing and hairless eyes. Some of the largest bees in Costa Rica are the carpenter bees. These huge bees are mostly all black. These non-social bees make elaborate tunnels into rotting wood, even old buildings, to make their nests. Larvae develop in cells inside the wood that have been stocked with pollen. On emerging, they must wait their turn to exit the tunnel. Undoubtedly due to this nesting in branches and old wood, they have floated to many far-off islands, 
including the Galapagos Islands, where they became the principal pollinator. Carpenter bees have a flattened back of the thorax and a dark, often violaceous wing that reflects metallic, and they have a triangular submarginal cell. And check out their tongue. Bumblebees are familiar to North Americans and Europeans. In the tropics, they are more common in the cooler highlands and can be active on the worst days of a cloud forest or the tundra-like paramo. Bumblebees are social and their colonies have three case, queen, males called drones, and workers. They nest in the ground or in deserted mouse nests. Their colonies may have several hundred individuals and in some species, nests can have as many to two to three thousand members. Mucho bumblebee. Bumblebees have hairy butts, often banded black and yellow, and they have more rounded thoraxes, and the second submarginal cell is rectangular. Well, more or less. Nice pollen basket. Males will patrol established routes, marking spots with pheromones to lure in the babes. <laughs> 